In this video, we'll see how to create a new function with the help of macro coding part and that function can be utilized into your Excel part itself. Now, for example, there are so many functions which are not available directly into Excel. You can create your own functions. I'll start with a basic example. I want to create a function which will help me to add two numbers and those two numbers I should get an output in Excel part itself. So how do I create a new function? So what I've done is I have created a sheet named as create function and now I'll go to this developer tab, click on this visual basic. Now in this place, I am into this module named as J underscore function. That's a module name. And here I'll type here, I'll create a new function. I'll just close it. So I get maximum space to utilize. I'll start with the named as function and I'll type here as add two numbers add two numbers x as integer comma y as integer as integer i want to add two numbers so i need two integers two variables that is x and y which i've defined and the output of this numbers should be as integer that's what i wanted and now it's very simple if i want to add two numbers i'll add as add two numbers equal to x plus y that's it Remember the spelling both the places should be the same. It should not, you know, it should not create a difference. Otherwise it will give a mistake. So add two numbers equal to X plus Y. That's it. Nothing else to be done. Keep your cursor in the Excel and utilize the new function, which is created equal to add two numbers. And I'll press tab two comma four addition of both the numbers would result as six. And I've got the answer as six. Now, if you want to change the name of the function, okay, so you can go back. You can remove this add to numbers and you can give your name. For example, I can just type here as my name. And also I have to replace the name here itself. Okay, that's it. So I've changed the name both the places. And if I come back to this place, if I type here as PAVN, I'm getting the answer as, and I can put as five comma six addition of five comma six would be as 11. I'll press enter and I've got the answer as 11 immediately here the value change because there is no add to numbers now existing it has been removed okay therefore the you got as hash name so there is no nothing given here and that is the answer which is given here right so i hope you're able to understand how to create a basic simple function in the macros and you can utilize same function into your excel that's all for this video